still here at Vegan Earth Day. The sun is going down, but hey, it's summer solstice, so this is the longest day of the year. I'm Monique. I'm very happy to be yeah. here. Let's see. Some of these films that were shown today are just phenomenal. Uh, healing cancer from the inside out from the filmmaker of eating. Uh, also, Dealing with Dogs. Now, this is interesting. Dealing with Dogs was actually an Emmy-nominated HBO documentary by Last Chance for Animals. So this is really good news that these types of films are getting widespread notoriety in Hollywood. You know, it, it kind of all started with, um, oh gosh, now I can't remember that movie from um, the one who was trying to uh, get the presidency. What's his name? About the ozone layer. You know what I'm Al talking Gore. about. Thank you, Al Gore. <laughs> Oe, who's recording us, was just going. Anyway, what else? We had. Um... Um, may I correct you for a moment? Sure. The name of the movie is Dealing Dogs. It's what? about people who dealt dogs, who who uh, stole dogs, who stole people's dogs, and then they um, sold them or. Actually, they sold them to laboratories, which is a very unfortunate thing that there are many medical laboratories that they do research on the same types of dogs that we hold as our pets. And it's uh, a very cruel thing. And usually um, people who are vegan, who choose this lifestyle, they become more sensitive to, to these realities. We don't take it so lightly because we are so aware of animal suffering. So this movie is um, something that is very close to our hearts and that's why we showed it in here. Okay, so it's not dealing with dogs, it's dealing dogs. I was actually talking to Christy Rose and he was saying there's a huge um, animal mafia in the south called, uh, nicknamed the Dixie Mob. So this is something that we uh, really need to, to, to look out in, in the U.S. Unfortunately, the amount of animal cruelty in the world is so large that I don't even have the time to keep up. So any name you throw out gets lost amongst many other names out there. Unfortunately in some other countries they skin dogs alive. It's it's very horrible. I'm, I'm sorry to have to even mention this, but uh, people need to raise their consciousness. You need to start to become more aware. You need to start to to read more outside of what is presented in general media out there. And the general media is all about happy things, it's about feel good things, it's about keeping you um, warm and fuzzy because they need their ratings and therefore you will never hear about all the important things that we should be paying attention to. So we can stay childish and just pay attention to those things that really don't matter. But the world unfortunately has a lot of problems and we need to get started fixing them. And there is no better time than now. And of course the best way to start that, one of the best ways, is to start to even uh, look at how we eat, what we put into ourselves, and the food that we eat, did it come without cruelty or did it come with a certain form of cruelty, which I don't want to get into too much. So that's why, once again, people who are vegan, for whatever the reason, then sometimes they wake up to this. My own waking up to it was for ethical reasons, and uh, that's why now I pay attention to these things too. And that's how you got involved in Vegan Earth Day. Of course, naturally. Okay. Well, thank you for all your efforts. Thank you for, for trying to spread the word around, <laughs> trying to help others to wake up to these things.